Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is going to be day number 365 because it is the last day of the year. Now I know we skipped like 353 through 364, but we'll make those up in the next couple of weeks in 2024. Today though, day 365, it was sent in by Jason Laws, 21 random knowledge questions. Let's go. Question number one. In 1973, The Godfather won the Best Picture Oscar. In 1975, its sequel, The Godfather Part II, followed up with a win of its own. What is the name of the movie that won the Oscar for Best Picture in between the two Godfathers in 1974, starring Robert Redford and Paul Newman as charismatic con men? That movie was called The Sting. Question number two. Originally launched in 1994, the longest continuous domestic flight spans over 5,800 miles and takes 11 hours and 40 minutes. If you get a window seat, you will see your plane cross over the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean. To which country does this flight belong? I'll give you a hint. The flight is from one of their mainland airports to one of their territories a long ways away. The answer is France. Question number three. In espionage, spies use a variety of methods to gain the confidence of enemy intelligence agents. One nefarious method involves using one agent, usually a female, to entice another agent, usually a male, into a romantic relationship to gain information. What is this method called? That old trick is known as the honey pot or a honey trap. Question number four, originally written in Scottish by Robert Burns and based on an even earlier Scottish folk song, this tune is played at graduations, funerals, and most popularly, at New Year's Eve. What is this song that loosely translates to long, long ago? This New Year's Eve tune is Auld Lang Syne. Question number five. This character is a mainstay in Mario games, but it also stars in games of their own where they run a mini-game creating company. What is the name of this yellow and purple clad brute whose name is partly derived from the Japanese word for bad? It's not Mario, it's Wario. Question number six. The winners of four straight AFC championships, but the loser of each of those Super Bowls, the Buffalo Bills are the only NFL team whose stadium is physically located inside the state of New York. What is the intimidating nickname of their dedicated fan base that first became popular in 2011? I'm actually wearing a Buffalo Bills hoodie right now. It's the Bills Mafia. They're playing right now, too. They're playing New England right now. Question number seven. Stores may provide a variety of offers or discounts to lure shoppers in to buy their products. They may offer half-off prices or payment plans to incentivize the shoppers. What is the acronym used to describe the deal where if you purchase one of a product, you get another at no cost? Feel like Kohl's is always having a BOGO sale. Buy one, get one free. BOGO is the answer. Question number eight. This game was released in 2017 by Epic Games and became an overnight sensation. What is this battle royale style game that is a homonym for 14 days and that is free to play but has in-game purchases that have generated Epic Games over $9 billion in revenue?
this super popular game is called Fortnite. Question number nine. This popular candy flavor is named for a fruit that does not exist. In fact, it is typically a combination of banana, cherry, and pineapple. What is this distinctively colored candy flavor that often shows up in candies, slushies, and sodas? So we know it's a color of a fruit that doesn't exist. The answer is the blue raspberry. Question 10. Edward Teach was known to put small candles and lit fuses into his beard before battle, creating a smoky and demonic look that struck fear into his enemies' hearts and earned him the nickname Captain Blackbeard. What was the royal name of this pirate's flagship vessel? What was the name of Blackbeard's ship? Captain Blackbeard sailed the Queen Anne's Revenge. Question 11. One of the most prolific American writers, this author allows any aspiring filmmakers or theater companies to use his works for the price of $1 as part of his Dollar Baby program. Who is this Maine-based author who wrote The Shining and Carrie? The answer is Stephen King. Question number 12. In 1970, robotics professor Masahiro Mori noticed that when a non-human object exhibited near-human characteristics, it would sometimes cause a visceral negative emotional response. What geographical name did Mori give this eerie phenomenon? It doesn't sound like a word that is even related, but if you've heard it before, you know the answer is the uncanny valley. Question number 13. Often compared to each other as the two best basketball players of all times, LeBron James holds the NBA record for the most total points scored. What other player, who has his famous shoe deal documented in the movie Air, holds the record for the highest NBA points per game at 30.1. That movie Air, very good. Watch it if you haven't. The answer is Michael Jordan. Air Jordan, of course. Question 14. This reddish spice is derived from the covering of nutmeg seeds. It has a slightly more delicate flavor than nutmeg and is used to flavor meat and fish dishes. What is this spice that shares its name with a medieval bludgeoning weapon? It can mean a tasty spice or a bludgeoning weapon. The answer is mace. Question 15. The landlocked West African country of Burkina Faso boasts an estimated population of 20 million people. Its largest city and its capital is the only African capital to start with the letter O. What is this fun to say capital of Burkina Faso? The answer? is Wagadougou. Question 16. This actor tragically died from lung cancer in 1978 and only appeared in five movies, with all five being nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. The last film, The Deer Hunter, would actually win the award. Who was this actor featured across from Al Pacino in the first two Godfather films? His name was John Cazell. Question number 17. In the 1700s, this word became popular to differentiate private domiciles from ones that were open for all to drink alcohol at. 
What is this term that is often shortened to describe a tavern or bar that serves draft beer to the masses? So if you weren't going over to somebody's private residence to drink, then you were going over to a public house, or a pub for short. Public house is the answer. Question number 18. Steve Irwin and Charles Darwin had one unlikely thing in common. They shared the same pet, named Harriet. Charles allegedly obtained this animal in the Galapagos, and it would die under the care of Steve at his zoo in 2006. What kind of animal was Harriet? He died of old age. He was a tortoise. Tortoise is the answer. Question number 19. James Logan Howlett is a mutant with the ability to heal from grievous injury and to extend three sharp claws from each hand. Though his ferocity earned him the nickname Wolverine, what stereotypically conflict-avoidant country is this popular member of the X-Men from? Logan, who is the Wolverine, is very aggressive even though he is from Canada. Canada is the answer. And question 20. You may know this Latin phrase from the similar, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. What is this Latin phrase that means to receive an advantage or a favor in return for something else? The Latin phrase that we're looking for is quid pro quo. Quid pro quo is the answer. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Thank you to Jason for sending in two great quizzes. We just played his first one the other day. I'm trying to get stuff done before the end of the year, so we went ahead and skipped forward to his day 365 quiz. Tomorrow we actually have one more quiz from Rick Oskin. He wrote one specifically for the 1st of January. So we'll play that one, and then I will catch up and do the uh, the ones in the middle, like 354 through 364. We'll get all those done. We will get all 365 done eventually. Subscribe to the channel if you like this type of trivia and you want to be reminded of when the new quizzes come. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees recently set the American League home run record with 62 home runs in the 2022 season. While certainly impressive, it is still behind Barry Bonds of the National League who, for the overall Major League Baseball record, hit how many homers in the 2001 regular season? In 2001, Barry Bonds hit 73 home runs. 73 is the current record. 73 is the answer. Whichever player got closest to 73 is going to win the point. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.